a decent attack range. You could trade really nicely. They might be trying to make something go on him here, though. You've only got the one charge left of the Spirit Cycle. Oh, nicely done. PYW. See, once he gets those points up in the poison, that was a really cute play as well. They were aware that the bounty rune fight was about to break out. And actually, top, top. Lelis, or he's going to be able to rotate forward. He doesn't have the ultimate, but that is not required. A great rotation from Ori. Maybe a little bit unexpected. Delayed enough. Yeah. I think that's some really nice timing. You know that you don't have the potential to take these towers. You don't have a, a sieging lineup just yet. So why not just let the, uh, the creeps yeah. do the work in blocking it out? <laughs> You wouldn't be able to retreat away. They're actually just punishing there. I think the ward aggressively putting a lot of pressure on top with the catapult. And meanwhile, actually, old 11. But the help of the Wrath and Age Sharp, Mars, one more right click, and LOA is going to be able to find another kill here for Quincy Crew. Yeah, that Spirit Siphon is going to be really effective. Even into the super late stages of the game, right? You just get one of those off onto the Deucer, and then suddenly you, you just, like, use a Yule Scepter, a Ghost Scepter, something like that, and you're doing a ton of damage, even as that plus five. Oh, Ori, TP in. Nice Sonic Wave on two. But Puyo Ooh, can't really, really, really help shards. out at the moment, so the shards gives them the space. Lelis. Oh, no. Ooh, the he, creep he didn't. screamed. Yeah. Into the jungle. LOA is going to finally scout it out. Sees that one of these creep camps has been taken. Doesn't put the Observer Ward in it, but it's just oh, out of that oh, sentry oh. range. That's going to be real nice. Oh, no. Nice shards from Polison. Pushes him back here. And I think this game is going to be won over the defense around. Oh, are they going to make an attempt here up top? Quinn's diving at tier two yeah, tower. Why not? There's that plus one effect. Gotta be careful how deep you go as Old Eleven with the extra rotation. But Quinn, he's still got the astral step. Old Eleven closes the distance thanks to the help of the phase boots and the wind lace. So gets the arena on two. But Fury on with a quick TP out. He'll keep his life. The real target's gonna be the Void Spirit. Spear up in three seconds, or he's gonna blink in two as well. Quinn playing with fire, dodges the spear, trying to delay as long as possible. He'll now go for the TP out. Knowing that they do not have a way to cancel that. Nicely done. Here by you are. He makes sure. You know what? I'm not going to stay in jungle this entire time. I'm going to go mid, and PYW is at risk of going down as well. Yeah, Lelis too. TP very deep. Even Puyo deep. is coming over, but it's space. You are going to get the tower. I honestly think Lelis is fine with that. They get the mm -hmm. T1 tower, even though he goes deep. Polo even just wants to send him <laughs> up to the air. Tusk comes in, cleans one. A nice cute snowball away. Quinn needs to be able to cancel the Mortimer Kisses and will do so successfully. Let's see if he's going to be able to get out, though. So another he's... ultimate charge. It looks like they're just going to do that. The ladder. Yeah. See you later, PYW. Rainbow TP is coming up, but you've got to keep in mind this is without the arena for World 11, and Yuar has the Radiance, so finally he's online. Even Puyo is going to join them as well. Wraith King loses that first life. They still have the Sonic Wave as well, along with the Mortimer Kisses. You are. Where's the extra help? Quinn finally going to jump in forward. The Sonic Wave doing a lot of work for you. He's still standing his ground at the moment, but he doesn't have the health pool. So he will drop. VG Gaming lose four. And it's just the sacrifice of the Wraith King there. Now, so you've got a lot more kill potential on VG Gaming's side. You They're are. still a little bit nervous about fighting into this Aegis. He was trying to bait. So the rest of the team can come over. Quinn, nice initiation strike, oh, finds the, the old line. 11. And now DY as well. Lesless trying to find him out here. It looks like he will be successful. Ori pops the BKB, but Ori's not going to be able to get the blink away. So two down from Vici Gaming. They're chasing up to the northern side. They found their target in the Medusa. They'll lock on and find another kill, but they're not done. They can keep chasing up the higher gun. There's no threat of them getting punished with the deep dive here because there's only three heroes down and you're not going to force a buyback on Medusa already 20 minutes in. Look at Quincy Crew go. Five down from Vici Gaming. Death Prophet just to be able to say, well, I'm not actually going to be a core. My job in fights is just going to be to Spirit Siphon these high HP heroes like the Mars, like the Dusa. I mean, even Snapfire is like a, a strength hero, so he's Ori. going to have a decent amount as oh, well. Oh, bye bye. That's a cute way to be able to bring him down. Polish, his Blink, Windlace. They're so active, but they're looking for a pickoff here. LOA. A bit away from the rest of the team. But Dyer. Oh, Spider nice Blink. Polish oh, straight on blind. top of the Queen of Pain. DY as well. He's just chucking out the Mortem Kisses. Hopefully, Old Eleven can get away successfully. So, the support on Snapfire will fall, but that's along with the Queen of Pain there. Good positioning here by Quincy. They actually smoke themselves. They're going to walk down into it. Old they 11. can retreat if they need to. They've still got relative Smoke high ground. Pops, Arena. 
They're able to get the spear, but now with the X's and Puyo is going to move in forward here. It's an immense amount of damage with the stone gaze as well. Two a turn to stone. Now with the sonic wave, Ella away. He's getting a lot of health back thanks to the spirit side. But now they're just turning their attention to Puyo, locking their target on the Medusa. All burnt out of mana, burnt out of health as well. Or he's stuck in the sprout. It's just too much. Quincy crew, this net worth leader, they're going to tap out. Vici Gaming. See you later. 28 minute victory here for the NA boys on Quincy crew. NA is A-OK. -okay. I mean, that was a really convincing victory, even just the end. The mid lane, they will always check that little sliver of the tower to see if the, it's going to get the aggro. Nice pullback from Ori. Actually goes remnant level one. And Quinn's going to be in trouble here because the tag team with four heroes to be able to utilize as well is way too much for the monkey to deal with. So Ori picks up first blood. That can literally decide this lane. Like now he's got the level five. You don't have quite as much uh, regen through on this Void Spirit. They actually do end up killing Ella Way though. What's going to cost him though? Got a fairy fire, but he doesn't eat the tango. So no extra regen coming through. And Polo, that rotation eventually will be kind of a sacrifice of the life to get the refill in the bottom top lane. Lelis, he'll end up falling as well. Poyoyo level five already. So that's Sakuchi getting on top. Still going to be in a bit of a precarious position here. Old 11, actually. The arrow connected from Polosan, and they're going to find another kill here for the Nature's Prophet. Down, and, I mean, really want to put some pressure on Quinn. Or he's got a lot bigger of a, a power spike here with his level 6 compared to the Monkey King, but even Quinn's going to drop out the Wukongs with the help of the double supports in the area. Massive brawl around the mid-fight. It looks like they're going to be victorious from Quincy Crew as Ori just scurries away with his life. Polosan not able to the find tower. it. Now, drag back to the tower. Kind of I fall. think he was trying to get the uh, the second earner shadow charge. Only about a hundred or so gold away, so it's looking all right for Quinn. Oh, Lelis, this is a filthy combo. You are actually going to be able to keep him alive. Song sets up for the arrow. He doesn't have the time lapse at the moment. That's enough. Nice use of the song. Sometimes we don't see it picked up. This he's kind of getting chunked down by the boys though. They're going to jump in. Double. <laughs> Whoa! By Beastmaster, he gets evaporated. Old 11's Wrath, the nature, claims the kill. And they turn to the Monkey King as well. Quinn, stunned up, gets a lot of life back thanks to the Jinku stacks, but he's not going to be able to man fight this as PYW sweeps on over. Two will fall for the kill on the Grim Shroud. They're actually still coming over this high ground. The Sprout's on point. You are. Oh, oh the nice. shards. That's on point. PYW. Nice play from the Tusk there. And Vici Gaming, they are way too fast right now for Quincy Crew. 4,000 net worth lead, 11 kills there, everywhere on. See if they can catch Radiant before they disengage. They got Lelis the vision. Lelis locks on. Monkey's still going to drop the ultimate. Nice Quinn Wukong. wants to brawl. It's a great Wukong's command. But where's the extra help coming through for the team? LOA has the X's and Polo's going to follow up. But the Star Storm 2 will fall. It's Vici Gaming. Without the help of the Void Spirit, they're unable to take a successful fight. As Quincy Crew is still hunting, LOA moves so incredibly fast. They'll find, oh, Snowball actually delays it a little while and enables Ori well. to be able to come on over. Jim for Quinn. You know, he's going for this brawling kind of itemization as LOA. Oh man, PYW Ooh. moves so fast. The quick kill on the Death Prophet. The song is able to set up here for the arrow. There's no protection right now for Ori. So Ori's going to get brought down. But Vici Gaming, do they still want to continue with this fight? Like Monkey roar. King stuck in the trees. A beautiful sprout. But Quinn's still able to man fight because they've got the raw snowball a little bit too late. And they're actually going to be forced to go in forward underneath the T1 tower here. PYW running through the river, but will not be able to do so successfully. It allows Old Eleven to clean up the back, but it's still going to cost him his life. 4-4 four, four for Vici Gaming. Queen unfortunately doesn't have a stun. The yeah, arrow wouldn't have been there time. Their next objective. They're actually going to link all the way around and try and find you all. He's in trouble here. Is he tanky enough for the strength treads? Quinn's going to sweep on over. You are still holds life. A great work on command on the higher ground. Quincy crew want to punch him from diving deep. Tusk will fall. Ori nice to simulate to the low ground. But this arcane rune will not enable the Astral Sept to be back up. It's a two for two. We do see the Naga sign fall. But that tier one may have been hoping for. As well, mid they Monkey King. For an attempt here. Quinn's going to be careful. He doesn't get the BKB off. Fiji Gaming able to burst him down. Instantly, Quincy Crew can attempt the TPs. Aegis gone. Wow, okay. Yeah, they're able to deal with the Aegis, Quinn. Quick Orchid's got to pop the BKB. So we're going to get leashed together. Radiant, they're trying to sweep on over to be able to protect the cores. 
They will get there in the nick of time as Quinn's still looking to take the fight, but Puyo is going to join them. In they go, PYW. A quick use of the ultimate Boy's here. Group. It's able He's to enable target. Quinn to set up, but now perfect combo. They're able to get the arrow. West just does noble. PYW nice keeps him alive, but the roll's going to push him away. They're able to deal with the Void Spirit, but the Wukong Command stops Vichy Gaming from committing forward for more. The gem gets dropped. They're able to re-pick it up here, so it's a one-for-one. One. A lot of ultimates committed, though, for Quincy. Yeah, it's just a... A little oh, bit Quinn. of a Boundless, Arrow, through. Weaver, might get bursted here, Puyoyo. Able to get the time lapse off. Meanwhile, Quinn will still fall as old 11 along with Vici now have a big advantage knowing that the ultimates are on cooldown. But now, it depends on if he thinks the Naga Siren is a big enough Ori? threat. Oh, that's deal. not a high ground you want to run up to, my friend. Raw set up for the Arrow. They're actually thinking about coming over. Puyoyo? Get the connection, Puyoyo pops the BKB. He's moving aggressively forward as well. Century. Yeah. Just getting every second that he can outside of that time lapse. You has got Song. If he can get a catch. Instead, it's actually Quinn that finds the boundless. Old 11. He's got the BKB. The shard's not going to be on point to help him out there. That's two heroes using BKB for nothing and also losing two cores. Only five seconds left on the primal roll. Soulbind, backline, who have they found? It's actually going to be Yuar. He's able to get the ultimate. They're in a choke point, so they're going to be careful. Exism, arrow, flies on through. Quinn, can he still get the ultimate off? He can. Now with the Wukong's drop, but there's no stun, so Vici Gaming going to be able to get out of the choke point here. Quinn's taking a lot of damage too, so he's going to be careful. BKB pop from either cause, but the raw controlling up the Weaver. They've got to turn and retreat away. They've used a lot of ultimates that haven't got kills out of it. So now Vici Gaming, they can put the pedal to the metal here. Straight on top of the Monkey King, Quinn will fall. But the backline, Tusk, is snowboard in. They're able to help out with finding another hero. LOA will drop, and we even see... Naga is still keeping up with the farm though here, Dan Ock. Yuaz doing incredibly well. Although he's fair way away from the rest of the team. Yuar needs some backup and he needs it now. Unable to dodge through the Inkswell with the Mancer and Yuar protected for a little while with the Moonlight Shadow, but it will not matter. We have a chain lock down thanks to the Raw, but Old Eleven and Ori still have plenty of damage to be able to bring to the table here. So they lose the Weaver, they lose two on Quincy crew, they might even lose more as well as PYW just though. gets lowest. Quinn's gonna come on over, flies through, drops the bound, the strike, finds the help of the extra heroes from Quincy crew. But a buyback forced here, Polison wants to rejoin them in a choke point. They're gonna be careful how deep they dive. Quinn once again, nice arrow. committing arrow on point. Old 11's gonna get caught. Quinn pops the BKB now with the snowball. They're actually gonna go in. Ori, he's still got some abilities to be able to utilize here with the essence ring as well. Polis gonna be careful because he actually just walked back for this engagement. But it looks like the rest of Vici resetting and thinking about going back in because they got another round of the abilities. A quick leap down, but he's still silenced. No more leap charges in the toolkit as Vici Gaming once again coming ahead in the team fight. But not the longest cooldown. Oh, and they're just going to song. Uh oh. They found two cores here. Who are they going to choose to target? Nice BKB. Oh, the, BKB. Oh, the timing there. The Shropsy the initial jump in from Quincy. A cute attempt. That is BKB committed here. Do they have detection? Polison sets up. Wukong's going to get dropped as well. This time it doesn't set up for the arrow once again. And Apoyo is going to look to punish All them. Quinn falling incredibly low. Is able to not make it a waste. The monkey pays the price. They're turning their attention now to old 11. It's a BKB going to do nothing. You are finally online here. The Naga Siren shredding them apart. But can he turn this team fight around here for Quincy Crew as Vici Gaming? The buyback of the Grimstroke. A nice snowball. They don't bring in the Weaver, but Poyo is still protected thanks to the time lapse. Another straight on top of you are as well. Poyo! Oh, oh, oh. The Necro Pokey destroyed it with the Mjolnir. He's going to fall, but they still get the Naga. And now Lelis as well. He's trying to run away, but a perfect shards once again on point here for the Tusk. And that will net them four kills, maybe even a fifth as well if they get Polo. Shards is up pretty soon. Polo! Oh! PYW! He's got the punch up in the air. Tag team's up in a couple of seconds. It does not matter. Vici Gaming will team wipe. Might get cut down. Quinn? Oh, Lois is too slow. Quick. He has to pop the BKB. Oh. Boundless though finds the Furion. They get the Abyssal oh, Blade! Oh no! And a Dire. They've committed a lot here. The BKBs. Void will fall and I mean Furion has to use his BKB to get out five seconds now So this honestly should just be an easy pickoff Gotta wait for that abyssal Bye bye even commits the Wukong's probably not required, but you you're sending a message here Radiance courier has been never through here 
Uh oh, man. Not the higher ground blocking. fight. Quinn, Boundless misses all of them here. Now with the visibility as well. Lock in. Ori, the Lotus Orb. Is it going to be enough to be able to protect him? BKB popped as well, but it's too much damage. Nugget's getting ripped apart. Puyoyo turns up to the fight. The Weaver, the buyback's going to come through, but Quinn as well stuck in the Wukong command. It will not matter. Finally, VG Gaming bring the fight to Quincy Crew, and they come out on top. They don't lose any. Yeah, and they're just going to get out of dodge. They know that. Well, honestly, there were a lot of ult. Oh my. So much damage here for Vici. And they got a big win condition with so many heroes buying That's back. Done. Three Beast done. Master's gone. And now the Yawar is well in the Naga. You gotta be careful. You just bought back Quincy Crew. Where's the answer? Naga's gone. Down for two minutes. Alloway as well is gonna join them in the grave. Vici Gaming. What an incredible team fight. All of a sudden, they call it Vici. Stuck inside the base, they had to play cat and mouse, and now they take this game two and tie the series. Oh boy, what what a turnaround! And honestly, like all throughout, this was a pretty damn close game. It just goes to show, like these.